I get coffee every day from a lady whose son I pronounced as a death in the field, and she has no idea. In 2014 I got dispatched to a car accident with multiple ejections around 5am. It was 10 miles from town, down a windy dirt road, in a maze of roads. A man was coming into work when we rounded the corner and found a mangled, overturned car with three teenage boys ejected and one still stuck in the car. No one knows what time they rolled, but they had all been drinking and it was clear they were traveling way too fast. I was the first ambulance on scene. The next ambulance and missed the turn and the next engine, heavy rescue, and two additional ambulances all followed emergency lights and went 10 minutes out of the way before they realized they were off track. I triaged all four patients. One had no pulse, and the other three were in critical condition. Because there was only two of us for a 10 minutes, the teenager with no pulse becomes the last priority, and all focus moves towards the three that have a better chance of survival. After additional units got on scene and the three boys were transported to the hospital, my focus shifted to the teen without a pulse. He had obviously signs of death, major head trauma, and was asystole in three leads, and are called into the ER doc and got a time of death. Fast forward several years, and a new coffee shop opens up between my house and the station I work at. I stopped before work one day to try it out. It's just opened and there isn't anyone there but me and the barista. She is very polite, the coffee was great, and I decide to stop by with my crew the next morning. We all loved it and it becomes a tradition. I even get coffee here when I'm not working. After a few weeks the barista opens up to me about losing her son in an accident. I realize she is talking to me about the accident I was on. I let her tell me about what happened, let her open up about her feelings. We slowly became great friends. She shows me picture of her son, and talks about him often. The whole time having no clue I knew all the details and was the one who pronounced him. I've gone in almost every morning for 2 years and 10 months. I applied to and got a job in a bigger city that will be more money and will be cheaper cost of living. I'm going to miss talking to this lady every day. She'll never know the connection I have to her son. I'm thankful for the friend she has been to me, being awesome to my family and getting me a birthday present every year.